a young woman, wearing a gown with a cloak. She has dark hair, loose over her shoulders. She is staring at us, the viewers. Her head tilted a little to the left, in a novel. We are looking at an engraving published in 1851, in a publication titled The Art Journal, which was printed in London, England, during the 19th century. The title of the etching is Reflection. A reflection, then, a gaze. We are staring at a woman who is staring at us. There is a feeling of proximity, even intimacy. Like many prints of the Victorian era, this etching was after an original painting, also titled Reflection, which was made by the British artist Edward Villiers Ripingil, who was born around 1790s. Ripingil was active in England but travelled to Italy and to France. The etching instead was made by Thomas William Hunt, an engraver and printmaker active in Victorian London. Nowadays, we live surrounded by high-resolution photos and videos. In the 19th century, instead, works of art were popularized via prints. Prints and etchings, like reflection, were published in magazines or through portfolios. Prints were affordable and could travel long distances. They were a global phenomenon, and collectors assorted them in albums or retouched them with watercolors and then framed them and hung them on the walls. The original painting by Ripingil, once exhibited in London, is now possibly lost. But the mysterious gaze of the young woman, the reflection enclosed in a novel, is still here with us, thanks to a very fine etching from Victorian England.